Hi everybody, as with most Brits, I'm going to start with the weather. Uh, some of us have, have endured games where the mud sticks to your shoes and your trolley wheels and it's pretty unpleasant. We've now got frost and I'm standing here on the putting green which is as hard as nails. Um, but the frost has allowed the green staff to get on with their winter uh, project work which is great and you'll hear a bit more from Ollie about that in due course. Now um, as men's captain I have to listen to and I'm happy to listen to different views, different opinions and that's fine by me. It's what I signed up for when you elected me back in October. Uh, but the, the one thing that we need to all be aware of is that different people want different things from their golf club and people's priorities are changing. And that's not just about golf, that's, that's life in general. And, th and we can't just say, well, we've always done it this way or this, it used to work 10 years ago. And everything that we do, whether it's in, the, in life or in, at the golf club, needs to be re-evaluated and reassessed because golf is changing in the same way that the world is changing faster than at any time in our history. And the advent of technology has obviously helped greatly and we all run our lives on our phones, or most of us do. Um, but we need to use technology wisely and hopefully you find that you're finding these captain's chats which are being posted up uh, on YouTube every week useful. I certainly really enjoy doing them. We've got the IG system which works in most cases uh, and we, but we must all embrace technology and not harp on about the way it used to be because the world is changing. Now inevitably this will mean that some decisions that I make in conjunction with the various committees, so that's my men's committee but also the club council, will not please everyone. But I was elected on the basis that I've been a member for 40 years, I'm pretty level-headed, I don't lose my temper unless I miss a three-foot putt, but I am able to make decisions and I'm willing to and will make decisions which are in the best interests of the club as a whole, even that if that's unpopular with some people. One good example of this is the traditional Sunday morning format, which comes in up for a lot of discussion, but also the priorities of everybody who plays on a Sunday, because those priorities are changing. Certainly playing on a Sunday morning is becoming more popular. It's a good time for people to play, but not everybody wants to come back into the bar and hear what was my traditional captain speech, rabbiting on about not much in particular in the 19th. I'm happy to continue that for those that want to listen, but that's fine by me. If people want to listen, great. If they don't want to come into the bar, that's also fine. One example of changes that we've made was that we reintroduced the two T start on a Sunday just before Christmas, and I promised that this would be on a three month trial basis to be reviewed at the end of January and a decision taken early Feb. That three months is almost up and we will be looking at whether the 2T start on Sunday has worked and if not why it has not worked and we will make an appropriate decision. And this is one just one example of a decision whether whether I make it on my own but I promise you it will be in conjunction with the various committees but it's it's likely that that decision will not please everybody and will be unpopular with some, so be it, I'm afraid. Right, let's get back to golf, which is what, the main reason why we're, we're members of this wonderful club. I haven't played a comp qualifying competition since last summer and I've been hauled over the coals by various people for not doing so. So as soon as the weather clears up a bit, I'll be out there playing some medals and stable foots and hopefully meeting more people as I do so. Uh, and whether my handicap goes up or down, again, so be it, that's life. Um, my captain's away day is now confirmed. I went down to Hever last week and it's now confirmed as Hever Golf Club and it's going to be on Tuesday the 3rd of September. I've already got the pro signed up to come and all the green staff who play golf are going to come so it should be a great day. I won't be using IG to book that uh, book that day. I'll be, it will be a back to 
a traditional notice on the notice board but please do sign up I want as many people there as possible it should be a great day it's gonna cost 75 quid I've managed to ratchet them down a bit on price uh, but that will be um, bacon roll when we arrive 18 holes of golf and then a then a meal afterwards and I will look to see whether it's worth laying on a coach which I'm happy to do so if there's if there's enough people who want to do that but really looking forward to that so Tuesday 3rd of September but it will cost you 75 quid um, the uh, just behind me here on the, in the veranda we have got some new chairs I was there this morning they are mega mega comfortable uh, I had to shoehorn Danny Flowers out of one of them because he was almost asleep and he was going to spend all day there um, Steve has done a great job acquiring these they are they're from Sunningdale so those of you who've played at Sunningdale may have even sat in those chairs but I, they are a brilliant acquisition for the club so they are used but they've come from a club like Sunningdale which I know we all we all respect as a fantastic golf club so next time you're here when you come off the course do have a sit in the veranda because uh, the, these are a real step up brilliant chairs so thank you very much Steve for getting that all organized um, so I think that's enough for this week uh, quite a quite a lot to say this week so please replay it if you want to listen again uh, we've got a very few a very busy few days coming up I've got social committee uh, on Monday and it's great that Martin's back running that Martin Nye uh, who was looking well on Sunday uh, he's had had a bit of a rough time uh, we've got a board meeting coming up and as and as well as that we've got the club council and men's committee meetings over the next few weeks so busy time for me very much looking forward to actually getting onto the golf club course which is what a cat what a, a golf club captain should be doing but until I speak to you next week have a great time